a long-standing, rather bizarre authorship, and co-authorship debate of the Shakespeare play, Titus Andronicus has taken place, since centuries. Between 1594, and 1611 the tragedy appeared in three anonymous quarto editions. The first in 1594. Titus Andronicus was first published, under William Shakespeare's name, in the first folio. The aim of this little video is, to support the idea, that this tragedy was in fact finally printed under the author name Shakespeare, but that this name belonged, similar to George Peel, to an almost impossible multiplicity of pen names of Christopher Marlowe. The Q3 edition of 1611 was the template for the first folio, printed 12 years later in 1623. Q3 was not fully identical with the first folio. The true Shakespeare astonishingly added a singular new scene. Several scholars, attempting to prove Shakespeare had nothing to do with Titus, did so in an effort to save his reputation, since they considered the play too badly written. To these scholar belonged John Robertson. In 1905, Robertson categorically refused to accept that Shakespeare had a part on Titus Andronicus. Since Marlowe was not being considered as an Shakespeare authorship candidate at the time, Robertson convinced himself that others, as George Peel, must have played the largest part in the creation of Titus Andronicus. Stunningly, Robertson did not adopt the standard arguments for an association of Titus Andronicus with Shakespeare, since, first, Francis Mears mentioned the play in his Pallades Tamia, and second, it was printed in the first folio. Since this left two essential questions unanswered, First, why Titus Andronicus was anonymously published three times during Shakespeare's lifetime, and second, why it was originally staged by theatre companies, Shakespeare never proven to be associated with. Amazingly, Robertson in the introduction even found a certain measure of justification, if not proof, for the Marlowe theory. Similar to Shakespeare's epic poem Luke Rees, published in the same year. In 1594, Titus Andronicus deals with the subject of desecration and loss of honor. It is worth considering, that the first folio text of Titus Andronicus corresponds to the Q3 version, but that a completely new scene, has been inserted here. This new scene could be interpreted as a metaphorical autobiographical glimpse into the fateful destiny of the real or true author of Titus. In 1926, Witherspoon, editor of the Yale Shakespeare, wrote. The character of Aaron is conceded by almost all critics to be modeled on Marlowe's Barabbas and Itamor. Much of the verse also, if not Marlowe's, is close imitation of that poet's line. The text itself alludes to Marlowe, in many respects. There is a reference to Dido, six times alone. In a love scene with Aaron, Tamara recalls the scene in Dido, Queen of Carthage. It is amazing how Tamara knew the details of the Marlowe play. Text parallels between Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus and Marlowe's plays support the thesis of a personal identity of both poets. <laughs>